Quicksilver Sound Architect is our latest valve control system. This allows the user to have full autonomy to shape the sound of their exhaust. Modern valve control systems are becoming increasingly hampered by emissions and noise control bureaucracy. Traditionally, valves were a great idea. They would open when you booted it and shut when you wanted it to be quiet. But you're finding increasingly, even in the car's performance modes, as soon as you back off the throttle, the valves shut instantly. Uh, this BMW M3 behind me is a prime example, even with the traction control almost fully disabled, which enables the valves to open on the stock system. The minute you back off, the valves shut, and you're not getting that sensation of overrun and pops and crackles. So we had a better idea of how to give the user autonomy over the sound of their car. The Quicksilver Sound Architect is formed of four key components. You've got your Sound Architect module here. This is your Bluetooth module that will connect your phone to your exhaust. You've got your cables for your left and right valve, or maybe just one cable if you have a single valve system. And you have your 12 volt power supply, which will go into your boot or glove box or wherever you may choose to plug it in in your car. So if I get our technician Ben to bring the system in, I can show you straight away. Thanks, Ben. So this is our BMW M3 and M4 active valve sports system, as seen on the car behind me here. These are your new standalone electronic valves and uh, pairing your sound architect is as simple as this. You'll get your valve cable here, plug it straight in, that will connect into place there with the retaining clip. Then at the other end, you're gonna take this locking collar, slide it back and plug it in to your sound architect there. Now you'll see that won't move with all the movement in the world, all the stresses that the car is under and movement, this won't budge you will repeat the same process on the other side, it's identical. The final part is just to plug it in. This will go into your 12 volt socket as it is in this car behind me. We like to hide it in the boot because it's the stealthiest way of doing it, but you can run it to any 12 volt source inside your car. Take it, plug it in, and your sound architect is on. Next off, you're going to get your sound architect and you're going to set it up to pair with your phone. Now, as a safety measure, you have to ask the sound architect to pair with your phone and this stops anyone else outside your vehicle to be able to log into your sound architect. So if you just take a pen, see this little button inside and you're going to press and hold. With this green light flashing, your sound architect is now available for pairing. Next, go to the App Store and type in Quicksilver Sound Architect. Download the app and with this light flashing, your device is now ready to pair. If you experience difficulty connecting or have an older device, you may need to toggle legacy mode. Tap the arrow top left to return to the home screen, hit settings and then use the legacy mode toggle button to activate this mode. Even a newer device can default to older Bluetooth protocol if influenced by existing pairings, for example, a car stereo or Bluetooth device. In short, once you've rescanned, legacy mode's got you covered. Now that your sound architect is paired, you have full autonomy over your valve control and you can have it fully open, fully closed at the touch of a button. Presently, you can hear the valves are closed. If I tap this, if I get Ben to give it some revs, you can really hear the difference. These are closed, and now if I open them, From race car loud to road car motorway civilised at the touch of a button.